Okay, so if I can indeed duplicate the first Inuit weave and its inverse, I should be able to make the Cherokee 7 star using only loop transfers. So let's try to do that. Thumb, my little finger up through, thumb over and up through, back, little finger down through, and there's the first weave. Now I need to roll the entire figure and do the inverse, which is up through, back, over, down through, and back, and down through, and now I have done both of them, and I can roll the figure and do one, two, and do the same thing. Now I'm going to only do that two more times instead of the four because this string isn't quite long enough, but just to prove the point, I'm going up through, over, and up through, and down through for the enemy, roll the figure, up through, over and down through, and back, and down through, and then Oh, don't do that. Roll the figure. One, two. And then do all of that again. Up through. Over and up through. Back and down through. For the first, rotate the figure. Roll the figure over. And then go up through and down through and down through and then roll the figure one two and now revert back to the old standby of how to do the inner wheat net from the beginning pick kick go get transfer drop pull down pull two pull show high and there it is. It's not Cherokee 7 stars, it's Cherokee 5 stars because this string isn't quite long enough. But it proves my point that you can do very interesting things making long involved Native American net figures using a loop notation system.